Hello class of fifth graders. My name is Mr. Wyatt and today we're going to be reading Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. And in this section we're going to read about how our three main characters encounter their school bully. Are you ready kids? Chapter 5. The Giant Killers. Leslie liked to make up stories about the giants that threatened the peace of Terabithia, but they both knew who the real giant was in their lives. Janice Avery. Of course, it wasn't only Jess and Leslie that she was after. She had two friends, Wilma Dean and Bobby Shue Henshaw, who were almost as big as she was. And the three of them would roam the playground, grabbing up hopscotch rocks, running through jump ropes, and laughing while second graders screamed. They would even stand outside the girls' room first thing every morning and make the little girls give them their money before they let them go to the bathroom. Maybelle, unfortunately, was a slow learner. Her daddy brought her a package of Twinkies and she was so proud that as soon as she got on the bus, she forgot everything she knew and she yelled to another first grader, Guess what I got in my lunch today, Billie Jean! Hmm. What? <gasps> Twinkies! She shouted so loud you could have heard her in the back seat even if you were deaf in both ears. Out of the corner of his eye, Jess thought he saw Janice Avery perk up. When they sat down, Maybelle was still screeching about her dang Twinkies over the roar of the motor. Jess threw another look at the back seat. You better shut up about those dang Twinkies, he said in her ear. You're just jealous because Daddy didn't bring you none. Okay, he shrugged across her head at Leslie to say, I warned her, didn't I? And Leslie nodded back. Neither of them were too surprised to see Mabel come screaming towards them at recess time. She stole my Twinkies! She stole my Twinkies! Just sighed. Mabel, didn't I tell you? You gotta kill Janice Avery! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Shh! Leslie said, stroking Mabel's head. But Mabel didn't want comfort. She wanted revenge. He soon tangled with Mrs. Godzilla herself. Finally ain't gonna get back nothing, Mabel. Them Twinkies is well on the way to patting Janice Avery's bottom by now. Leslie snickered. Mabel was not to be distracted. You're just yellow, Jesse Aarons. If you wasn't yellow, you'd beat somebody up if they took your little sister Twinkies. She broke into a fresh run of sobbing. <laughs> Jess stiffened. He avoided Leslie's eyes. Lord, there was no escape. He'd have to fight the female gorilla now. Look, Maybelle, Leslie was saying, if Jess picks a fight with Janice Avery, you know perfectly well what will happen. Maybelle wiped her nose on her sleeve. She'll beat him up? No. He'll get kicked out of school for fighting a girl. You know how Mr. Turner is about boys who pick on girls. She stole my Twinkies, though. I know she did, Maybelle. And Jess and I are going to figure out a way to pay her back. Aren't we, Jess? He nodded vigorously. Anything was better than fighting, promising to fight Janice Avery. What you going to do? I don't know yet. We'll have to plan it out very carefully. But I promise you, Maybelle, we'll get her. Cross your heart and hope to die? Leslie suddenly crossed her heart. Maybelle turned expecting to Jess. He crossed his heart too. Trying hard not to feel like a fool crossing his heart to a first grader in the middle of a playground. Mabel snuffled loudly. It isn't as good as seeing her beaten to a million pieces. No, said Leslie. I'm sure it isn't. But with Mr. Turner running this school, it's the best we're going to do. Right, Jess? Right. Thank you, class, for coming to my story time. 